what's up guys this is the rifleman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire dead war let's play as the united states of america and in this episode we are attacking the city of Ahmedabad, the new um capital of the maratha empire and it is completely vulnerable to our forces under oswald goff so let us attack and this is yet another um dagger in the heart of the maratha empire because it's yet another one of their large cities that they have lost control of their ability to generate forces is shrinking by the episode and it is only a matter of time before they collapse entirely and then the united states armies come storming through iran push into iraq and then the final battle of europe begins from all directions i think <laughs> yeah things are going pretty darn well so we're going to storm up pretty rapidly even though the enemy has lots of melee infantry and um, we do want to push just because they have a reasonable amount of howitzers uh, mortars rather so let's get my artillery limbered up and firing or unlimbered and firing i should say this is going to be the first application of my american volunteers volunteer <laughs> infantry regiment don't let me down boys put all of my special troops on the left flank let's put the bulk of my cavalry on the right general in the center wowzers Okay, let's not go too crazy with our forward deployment especially if it looks like we're going to gain advantage on one of the flanks so we're hammering their artillery off the bat i don't know how much damage we really did the howitzers can open up with quick climb my foot artillery can continue to sub try and suppress the enemy batteries more rounds inbound i think if we move in on our left flank we should be good i'm keen to not move my right too far in order to try and maximize our killing ability Curious as can uh, pike man, eh? Let us advance towards the enemy forces. Let's try and see if I can run my cavalry. Hindu musketeers notwithstanding right behind them. I think we are actually really better served in attempting to kill the enemy infantry. Field, no. Stay away, Hindu warriors. I run my cavalry around the flank. Pikemen are falling to my musketry. No, run away, cavalry. Run my regiment of horse around. Let's run towards the centre. See if we can continue to trip their pikemen. There we go. Now their Hindu warriors are broken. Let's push forward and slaughter them. My cavalry is now loose in the, in the enemy rear. Start to go after these mortar units. 
pikemen are wavering. They've lost a good number of their troops. There we go. Broken, shattered, go after that garrison unit. Garrison, you know how many swordsmen are chasing down my cavalry that are slaughtering the Hindu warriors. Kill the enemy general. Okay, let's ball this flank back just because the Pokemon have recovered. Okay, let's re target some of these chaps. Realistically, let's try and run my cavalry back through the lines. General, get up onto the high ground. So I really want to try and shatter some of these units. Because one thing Indian units like doing is just coming back again and again and again and again. But you better go for these Islamic swordsmen now, because even though at least they are badly depleted. Artillery, peace fire. Okay, where is the bulk of the enemy? Artillery engaged, the armed populace to the rear. Okay, Hindu musketeers have recovered, so let's fall you guys back. Keep killing the Islamic swordsmen. Shattered, good stuff. Go off to the Hindu musketeers. Hello. Indian mortar garrison unit still coming back. Again, just try. Okay, they're both shattered. Good. Because you could try and rush the armed populace. They've been dealt with. Just smash into their last remaining unit. So they can't really see what's coming until the last minute. Well, there is an enemy unit still on the field. open fire with a round shot, that will do. Slaughter the armed populace. See, look, they've come back right at the edge of the map. You men form up against that one unit that's still left on the field. The Bajir infantry have come back. Advance with skirmishes and some marines towards them. Because you're after that unit still. Just keep killing them. So there's another unit. I do like. You're tricky. When you get an enemy um, route chain going on, they can be quite pugnacious and awkward when it comes to actually leaving the field. Your infantry under, after one volley, they're already wavering and they're routing. So, charge them with my cavalry just to make sure. All my artillery engaged the 101st. Well, there's another one. We do not like retreating. That's why sometimes these sorts of city battles can be so frustrating, because they don't actually 
It's not they're complex, it's just they are difficult things for your... It's awkward things for the enemy to fight in. forward. Yeah, these guys should go down pretty rapidly. I mean, you guys are engaging us, engaging one of my units in the flank, but that's not enough. These units have pushed up onto the hill to engage the 14th. They're going down. Artillery bombard the 14th. They're redeploying, but it's not going to work. It's the end of them. What about the fifth? Oh, good hit. It's right on the big thick part of the wedge. Yep, that's enough of you. Good. Excellent. Finally. Jeez. Still, good win for us. That's a good territory to take. Oh, great ashram. We don't want one of you. So let's get the city repaired. We're going to get federal fortifications built. Troops are going to re uh, rebuild. Replenish, rather. Let's, replen let's rebuild the global trading company. This ship can sail on towards Nerun, the last of the Maratha's port infrastructure. There's more troops heading this way. Upgrade. No, I don't upgrade anything yet. You're replenishing. You're replenishing. Which you can't actually... One more turn of Dragoons, then you guys should be free to do stuff. You're advancing up towards Hyderabad. You're recruiting a full army. You are doing the same. All these guys have moved to the northeast anyway. That's great. So, Europe. Build the iron workshops. You guys. Murphy Cecil. You men replenish where you are. We'll try build the church school. Try build the steam engine factory. Roger Leverett, see if you can get the other side of this here agent, this other side, other side of this here army, and attack Leopold Wolf. Destroy his force in southern France, hopefully push them back towards Italy, then we will cover the river to the south. And then we need to look at how we can try and push through in Alsace-Lorraine. I think that's the next focus of our effort. And you've been fighting with us for a long time. We've got some of our early regiments in here. Yeah, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18. Fine fellows, splendid men. To think they started off fighting for the safety and security of their empire and now here they are they've invaded Europe conquering army and there's still plenty of fighting to go you're formed up Mr. Leverett limber up uh, limber didn't deploy all of my artillery Okay, let's 
Let's advance forward. So really, I want these infantry units to secure the high ground. Skirmisher support with cavalry support. The rest of the troops are going to form a line on the hill. My round my four artillery can just continue to engage the enemy guns. Well, that triggered an attack. Good hit. So my cavalry wing get up here on the high ground. Provincial cav. Let them commit, and then we'll drop into square. It looks like they are okay with us securing the high ground. Cavalry and get are advancing. That skirmish. Cavalry, or yeah, it's skirmish cavalry. Okay, make sure our squares hold. We're advancing aggressively. Enemy carabiner. Nail my heavy cavalry in to attack this cuirassier. Two of the enemy cavalry units are broken. No, Roger, no. Okay, you go stay where you are. Let's not let the. Shrapnel shot one of the unit of the 26th. Shattered, excellent round shot that took that unit of line infantry. Can cavalry wheel about. Infantry in the squares, get out of square. Too bad that we allowed there. Militia to bump into us. Let's pull one cavalry unit out. This cavalry unit, see if they can flank around and attack the general bodyguard. If we can take out the 54th. Excellent. Something like this. Militia lured my cavalry back in. Okay, let's take up my infantry plus you. Push forward to, to capture the high ground. There you go. The enemy general's made himself known. Made himself more available. Oh, it's a switch to round shot. Bombard the line infantry. Gunners, they're trying to do what they can to keep their hopes alive. Ooh, you men form up here. Carabino trying to save their general. We're fighting right at the edge of a stake line. Go on, Rangers. Show them who the real skirmishers are. Their general, sir. Attack those Jaegers while they are reforming. Advance up to their faces, men. Don't let them take an inch. Or reform the line on this flank because the unit militia has come back. Don't bother with the militia. Go after the artillery. You men go after this unit of line. Artillery, all of you firing round shot. Engage the militia. Howitzers engage this regiment of foot. 
gunners are being executed, mounting their guns. Are they going to attempt to wheel their guns out of here? There goes the 70th regiment. Okay, slaughter them. One militia unit remaining. Let's continue. We're not necessarily bothered about um, which units we take out. Just that we try and do as many kills as we can. I'd like to try to take out this infantry unit. 54. Don't let my screw up. There we go. I was going to say, don't let my screw up ruin it. There's nearly everybody. Okay, there's a gunner somewhere on the field. There he is. Get him! Interesting. Bit of a screw up. Let's. Ceasefire the artillery. Because that's definitely. They run over to the gun, but the crew is here, but for some reason they won't chase down the crew. Interesting. Either way, that is a win. So let's shunt them back to the border. Replenish where you are. You can go north or south of this uh, forest. So right now you're useful where you are. Mr. Cecil, just hold the ground. Uh, right. So let's repair this. So you're able to smash straight into Oscar Schmidt. Any reinforcements coming in? Nope. Just keep hammering them back towards Strasbourg. Just uh, try and do so much damage they find it a real challenge to uh, replenish their losses. I think that's the name of the game. We may also want to attack Hanover because Austria is just using it as a vector to attack us. And that's just no good at all. Right now, just, yeah, just deploy our guns in a excellent firing position because this is a very elite force. Well, it's, yeah, it's an elite force, not necessarily a veteran force. We've got an awful lot of very high quality troops. And I want to use them to their best ability to surround the enemy. Advance. Should you just let them shoot? Just shoot at them with my artillery for the time being. They are attempting a charge. Brycor cavalry, skirmishers. Lots of dead men there. Their artillery is trying to engage, but they've got one poor unit of horse archers. Provincial Cav, they're out of the picture. Brycor Cavalry. Oh, here they come. Shells are landing amongst them. Is that enough to break them? It is. Cavalry's reformed though. Lots of us shotgunners are loose on the left. Cavalry is broken once more. Start to pick individual units to shoot at. Come 
confident, steady, shaken. One of the shotgun is going to get mown down. Light infantry got a few. Grenadiers got a few more. Get my general over here. Good shots landing here. Landing in the middle of their forces. That's right, they've beaten the retreat. Now what say you, 19th Regiment? Angriff! Large enemy retreat. You guys ready to deal with the reinforcements as the well not the reinforcements the enemy uh, enemy re the enemy um, troops that are recovering. Committed, I've got an enemy enemy to commit to a not quite a charge. Make ready, aim and fire. We might not get to kill many troops in this. We're going to destroy many units in this fight, but we can at least try and get one. Hessian Jaeger advancing up. A bit of a dip blade in the minute. Kill the enemy general. Is that with a plucky artillery shot? No, it wasn't. Quite the opposite. And the general will mow down the 38 foot. 38 light foot, I should say. right up into them. These enemy units have extracted a toll. You're just lucky I don't have any cavalry. If I had cavalry, you guys would be done for. You guys don't really have a good angle to shoot. It'll do. It'll, it's causing enemy enemy to have morale problems. Content of Marines just charge into the Hessian Jaeger. This unit of infantry engage the horse artillery. You know what, throw my sharpshooters in. Let's give them a chance as well. Swords at the ready. Let's speed up time to allow my infantry to go kill the enemy. Gunners. Got him. Uh, let's just end it there, really. Gave them a bloody nose. I sent them scuttling backwards. You may even have destroyed their army. Oh, nearly. Forward. March. And let's raid the steam engine factory, Forward. the mines. Awesome. We managed to cut down on your income somewhat. Well, that was good. You're right that we captured um, up here in Europe. So you guys are ready.
Hmm. I mean, do we just... Do we just deposit you on the continent just as another force to try and bash through? Let's switch the ships around. You don't necessarily need them near Amsterdam, that's safe enough. We just need them more here. Keep the infrastructure spending high. So you might be able just to finish them off. No, oh, nearly. Murphy Cecil can replenish them. Okay, so you will need to go south because they're likely to do some raiding and damage a bunch of our the stuff that we've tried to build. Apart from that, though, okay, let's build a church school here in Cologne. Have we got. Actually, are we building a. We're yeah, building a boarding house. Will be done. You're converting or trying to convert Cologne as is. We're about to get rid of religious unrest. Let's put you down to Bavaria. We need to start converting their people as well. You're not in range to attack them. Cordovan Gates isn't in range. All of our units just aren't in range. Any further orders, sir? Advance. March. Just move the overall front line forward. Upgrade all in all to a chap school. Let's get Nathaniel Wallace to replenish his army. Mr. Finch. I think we are just going to. We are just developing a hell of a force here. Hell of an economy. They're not going to really be able to stop us. More units for the army <laughs> in Texas. Okay, I do think that's everything, in which case then it's time to hit and turn. We're about to get rifle cannons. Then all of my troops continue to march on. Maneuvers complete. Harvesting supplies. Harvesting supplies. Come on, Spain. Get an army into the action. Commit. Do something useful. Don't just kind of... We are fellow republics, you and I. I have kept you alive. So, what does Austria elect to do? There's another fresh army from the east on the way. Two fresh armies from the east. Three fresh armies from the east. Is that a fourth fresh army? They must reach a point where they just start to run out of people god alive they are just pumping troops out <laughs> that's going to be okay if we can take Strasbourg push them across the river that will be a significant achievement in of itself our attack in the Balkans hasn't opened up the next um, front in a way that we would like although it definitely could hmm. I think I'm going to maintain my strategy of just grinding the Austrians down while trying to achieve that breakthrough in India unlock the riches of the continent of the Indian subcontinent and then smash through the Middle East I think that's got to be the way to do it Although it looks like Austria is making this chug. So see you in a second, everyone.
an Austrian horse has wandered too greedily towards Amsterdam. So we're going to suck them into a nice fort um, defense battle. But yeah, we definitely can't keep um, ignoring the fact that Hanover is being used as a a way to outflank us. It's incredibly, incredibly not what we want to do. Um, but what the Austrians have done while I've chopped the recording is that they've really reinforced the um, the Alsace Lorraine beachhead. Okay, let's get you guys out of the way, out of here. Drop the guns back here just to see if they fancy engaging anything. Let's just position my troops ready to fight. I'm not going to get crazy because the enemy force isn't at full strength, but let's just, just drop some guys down. Everybody else can kind of just chill out. Although the infantry are all going to be firing well off. Same with the light cavalry sharpshooters. My general's in here. Cool. So can my gunners shoot over the walls? No, they do not. Just They just don't want to fire. So the enemy do have a demi cannon team, but demi cannons are not that accurate. Not very good. 3% already. Which isn't terrible. Um, let's put a unit of mercenaries up on top of this gate. Just because, actually, okay, they are actually going to attack that section, or attack this part of the bridge. So let's put some guys positioned like so. I don't know. It looks like their their desire is to face to. Uh, Swarm up with 114 for defending. So the mercenaries are holding out. The regulars are holding out. Okay, line infantry guards are wavering. They've not lost many men. You guys are not firing at will correctly. You should be pouring musket fire onto these guys as well as cannon fire. You're about to be attacked. There we go. Same with you guys. Guerrilla mercenaries are attacking which you don't really care about. That's what we want to see. If we can push back the line infantry guards, I'll be a lot happier. Guerrilla mercenaries don't really care about. The militia just sucking up a bunch of musket shots from the this regiment of foot. Come on, line infantry guards. There you go, you don't want to stick around. Neither do you. So I think we're at a point where we effectively just want to start. Okay, they are making their breach. You guys need to deploy like so. We don't mind if they make their breach. more about when these guys are just going to stand here and do not very much until that happens. Oh, these guerrilla, <laughs> guerrilla mercenaries are coming back. The line infantry guards are too, but they aren't half as surprising as the guerrilla, the guerrilla mercenaries that wanted to come back. Mm. 
made your breach yet. Yes, you nearly have. There we go. They have their breach. I think I start working on this one now. If I fall you back right now you're so if I move you back if you guys are out of range of anything will you just if you guys don't know what you're gonna do Lancer guards fry corps cavalry horse grader guards um if they're just gonna let me engage them with sporadic artillery fire then I'm just gonna let them so see you in a second everyone I got bored waiting and pushed my cavalry out like a madman <laughs> let's just get them killed I think the main thing is to the main lesson learned we have to uh, take out Hanover because this cannot continue at least it will open up a new front against the Austrians and the Prussians may not like it and that may draw us into war with Prussia but I think needs must although at some point you think the Marathas must be uh, starting to experience some severe economic difficulties yeah Nagpur is their center of power We are going to send troops towards Ahmedabad because it's definitely in our interest to uh, try and pressure the probably the new Maratha capital. Yes, it is. Akbarabad is their new capital. Narun is also ripe for the taking if we can land troops there. They have no way of stopping us from uh, marching on the city, but I don't think we have an army in position ready to make the attack. Now it's time for the Ottoman end, the Ottoman end turn phase to just break the game. Lol, radio. See you. In... No, there we go. See, the game new. Although Russia's been just as bad recently, so I'll see you guys in a second, everyone. And we are off again. But it looks like Persia is more than content to keep sailing around the the North Sea and the Atlantic. To what end? Nobody knows. Maybe they're just trying to find out what the hell's going on. Either way, a new turn is upon us. A whole new turn. Right. Let's get busy. Um... Okay, let's not mess around with you. Send the, send my army along. Send the cavalry forward. We are Excellent. They can recover. Then Roger lever it. Just get back towards this area here. Trades gain. Good. So Bordeaux got raided. Unfortunate, but... Pardon me. Hiccup. Porto Vineyards and Leon and Garden. Okay, so this, uh, these, these guys here had an objective to marry up with probably this guy. Let's just assume the answer is yes there. So we've got rifle cannons, now we're on to cheap lead cartridges. I suppose we really have kind of done this a bit of a backwards way. Okay, you men sail for Europe. We need more firepower in Europe, I think. And the sloop, magnificent. Well, first of all, Jareth Knight. 
keep let's keep recruiting troops in America. Even though we are fast running out of cool, unique units. Something like that. Okay. Weaver's Cottage. Keep upgrading. Okay, industry. Definitely want to take advantage of the economic infrastructure that we've captured. Okay. Mysore finally has a church school. So I think you guys can hop out. You guys hop in. Minus two. They still aren't very happy. Let's get a general and let's get another batter of dragoons because I can't afford to let entire armies sit back here and not contribute to the action. Okay, that's actually enough. Let's cancel all that. <laughs> okay, it's cloth mills. My saw needs better roads. Flanders needs an upgraded port plus an upgraded cloth mill. Let's get the a sloop into Antwerp so you're protected. You're in pretty good strength. So in the city here, let's go mad and recruit a turn's worth of infantry. We probably want to trespass against Hanover. Declare war. Ooh, oh no, they've got lots of allies. We'll deploy you eastward just to act as a bit of a bulwark then. So yeah, they've pushed out a lot. It's um, Alsace-Lorraine. To the point at which our concentration of troops to the north may actually start to work against us somewhat. Partially. We are going to go on the offensive. March. Minus four, minus two. Forward. So Cologne, just start recruiting your troops. Yes. Royal Babington, sadly you weren't replenishing. What's the best way to do this? Okay, maybe fo yeah, maybe focus on India off the bat. You chaps hop out to the city. You don't need any garrison. That's cool. But you're going to get some. So you're going to push up. Ready to threaten Nagpur from the south. Okay, new roads are coming. They're just going to take a bit of time. Evan J is going to re is just replenishing, ready to deal with this force that's marching towards him. Make ready. Cloudsley Cockburn, just hold the high ground. Ready. This force is going to raid the university, raid the cloth mill. So this rake push forward to Akbarabad. There's nobody here. Push forward, threaten Akbarabad. Ideally, capture it because that will be. The last Maratha big city taken. And there won't be anything they can do about it either. At the ready. Okay, so in Europe you can't well in, in India rather you can't really push. Yes, you can potentially engage this army and see if you can bring in any reinforcements and then that'll allow us to attack a Madnagar. Just a just a handful of chaps. In which case, you men replenish. Let's, uh, yeah, we can do that. Let's go after Ahmadnagar. Another coastal territory. Which is taken away from the Marathas. We're slowly pushing them away from the coast. They're not able to trade. You would think their economy would really start to collapse. But apparently the... Campaign buffs are sufficiently good. That's not really happening. OK, 
Okay, let's deploy. Deploy the artillery. Um, Far East fortresses just collapse really easily. Howitzers get into position. They don't have any mortars. Uh, you're actually dropping right in front of my guns. Let's let you go. Oh my god. Oh no, I didn't, don't worry, I didn't. Okay, they're not gonna hurt. Do you be honest? Let's get our troops marching up. This small fort's gonna drop real easily. Center Marines marching forward. Let's speed up time while our troops advance, especially if the artillery is just going to kick. Okay, we got a Marine. Okay, there we go. We got our breach. That's all. That's a good cluster of troops, although I don't think it's the well, they're, they're not going to uh, help themselves. This small fortress will fall ahead of us, although we got a good hit right there in the middle. A couple of good hits, actually. Okay, now my troops run. We've got ourselves another breach. We do indeed. So, here's what we're going to do. Get all my artillery to aim at the breaches. You're going to form up like this. And we're going to start trying to scale the wall. And then we're going to rely on overwhelming artillery and musketry. And just annihilate them as they leave the safety of the fort. There we go, they've left the fort and they immediately broke. Quick lines coming in. Guerrilla the mercenaries and scale the wall. The line infantry and scale the wall. Send you to scale the wall. They're gonna be forth to try and stop us. They're going to be annihilated. So here comes oh. good artillery rounds flying in. Oh no, you don't. You guys get out of there. That's another unit routing. They're pushing forward. Another armed populous units coming in. These guys are eager. Oh, the man with the colours ran forward, but he's dead. Uh-oh. Okay, you guys just get out of the way. There's a couple of handful of guys out here, but they're all still wavering. So you're just going to run in. I'm going to see if you guys get hit by friendly fire quickline. The you men push forward. Both howitzers engage the armed Hindu warriors in the centre. Push through. The gate is ours. Cease fired artillery as well before they annihilate us. All of the gates are ours. We could run our cavalry in, but that would be a bit. feels a bit mean. Let's 
artillery is continuing to engage the Hindu warriors in the center. Everybody form up. Popular, sir, holding on. That and Daki, they are not going to rout easily. But that's why I've got these troops. They're going to just pour musket fire into them. Let's see, once they are reloaded, oh, that's them. There we go. Yeah, that was a very mean battle. <laughs> like, they just didn't really have a chance. And that's great for me. They can't even get out, because all the gates are ours. The fools! The fools! That city belongs to us, as does its infrastructure. It's a... It's a um, economic infrastructure let's maybe not build just demolish you let's kind of count on some schools being developed so repairing you get a global get a sloop up here to occupy the global trading company let's get the roads rebuilt get mr hadley to replenish his army same with mr veer awesome so there is really a huge amount that we can really do in india at the minute let's move one of these sloops around to bombay so surat let's upgrade the tea warehouse upgrade baroda to a church school upgrade the ordnance board make sure the army's replenishing Recruit some extra line infantry because I've got a feeling they might need it. There's a few units heading our way. Let's push forward towards our enemies with our spy. So then over here, can you try and assassinate that general? 31%. Nope. Bad luck. We've done all this. Further service can I oh, no, you're can you converting. Your orders. Just keep trying to assassinate yeah, generals. There we go. That's a thousand gold damage done to them. I can't go there. Okay, you men get onto the road. At the ready. Let's bring Mr. Davis up behind him. Just ready to provide a bit of support. I think for the most part that is effectively India kind of done. In which case it's all about trying to just hold the line against Austria, especially now these guys have kind of driven westward. There's not we haven't got a huge amount of firepower to stop them. And if we just march these guys east to try and blunt that attack, it's not going to work. The only way it will work is if I bring troops down from the north. Ready and waiting for orders. Let's march them in, particularly near the road. At the ready. Make ready. March. Actually, let's see if they intercept us. March. They don't. Waiting Curious. Very well. Let's take. Do we take Humphrey Sorry. Sloper or do we take you? I think we take Seven. William Charlton. Attack Ludwig Weiss. And we'll call in a couple of Austrian armies. But I think we... Well, we... We're definitely ahead. Actually, do we even have a numbers advantage? No, nah, not quite. Yeah, we're about equal. Which is very bad for them. So that draws in these three armies. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for some yet more Austrian slaughter. Cheers, everyone.